Wildcats, I see. <laughs> What's up, Rocket Man? Hey, how you doing, Gadget? <laughs> oh, what language are they using? Yeah. Once you get past the, uh, the withdrawal, you'll have so much fun. You won't miss your phone. <laughs> yes, my ladies in the honeycomb. Once again, I'm Maddox. I thought your name was Gadget. Oh, hey, Maddox. I mean, Gadget. Do you know where I can mail this? Oh, yeah, I'll take it. Oh, it's like a special sealed letter. Oh, well, I'm going to the office later. That's where they go. <laughs> Great. It says, do not bend, by the way. <laughs> Someone special. Very. We are deeply in love, and I will be writing to him every day. <laughs> yeah, OK. <laughs> Is that funny? Oh, no, it, it, uh, it's just a camp thing. You know, a lot of people come in saying that, and then by the end, life has other plans. <laughs> That's not me. Oh, I didn't, I didn't say it was. <laughs> oh, I hear Gina's, Gina's calling me. I really, I have to uh, go. Uh, I thought I'd sing a little song. Maybe one or two of you want to sing along. Seal. Don't. Is it bad to say she's kind of a lot? And that's coming from me, someone who is also a lot. <sighs> Are you okay? 100%, just journaling, reframing the news from this morning so I can make it a win. Oh, I get it. You're a Leo rising. Capricorn rising, actually. I'm all earth and air signs in my big three. Really? I totally get fire sign vibes from you. Look, I know myself. I'm a Ravenclaw, an ENFP, a Belle, and a Samantha. The American Girl doll Samantha. And I'm definitely a Capricorn rising. Yeah, okay. Tonight's gonna rock. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? It feels out of character? Okay, now listen to this. Leo rising, what Maddox thinks I am, likes to be the center of attention and get praise, loves the admiration of others, recognition gives them a boost. This is a spooky night indeed. Oh, hey, tent all set up? Yeah, uh, Gina's basically professionally trained in survival arts. I think that tent could survive a hurricane. <laughs> mm. Hey, I'm sorry if I overstepped with the whole Leo rising thing. I just picked up a vibe. Oh, all good. You're wrong, but all good. Are you sure you don't have any Leo in your big three? Because you know, your rising signs are based off of your birth time. <laughs> Rising signs are based on your birth time. I'm basically fluent in the stars. I don't know why I'm yelling. Uh, she's uh, not super fond of me, huh? Who, Ash? Yeah. No, no, she's just going through something. Give her time. Ashlyn loves everybody. She's a feminist. OK. Wait, why would Jet just leave without telling anybody? If you're looking for Corbin, I saw him and the camera guy pacing by an oak tree. Oh, nah. I don't think they want what I'm selling. <laughs> Can I a paintbrush? Sure. Yeah. Uh, back home, I helped my boyfriend with crew. The smell of turpentine makes me feel closer to him. <laughs> it must be nice having someone waiting for you back at home. What about you? Oh, I used to. Yeah, here at camp, actually. Madison. <laughs> We were kind of camp royalty, mad and mad. Uh, yeah, but you know, now it's complicated. What's ironic though, is that for the longest time, <laughs> we hated each other. But it turned out you were obsessed with each other. Yeah. It's, of course, the classic Jane Austen marriage plot. <laughs> I guess so. <sighs> I should uh, go check in with Val, see if she needs any help with the movie night. Uh, save me a seat. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? Oh, Val is the coolest. Yeah. 
Well, of course, she's an event planning genius, too. I even heard her give some amazing tough love advice to that Jet kid. Wait, he's back? Um, yeah. Apparently, his parents sent him back, and Val was all, prove them wrong. Very sister act, too. You're kind of being a joke. Ugh, and like, does her hair have to be so perfect every single day? It's like, we're in the woods, not a shampoo commercial. Mm -hmm. And it's so perfectly shiny and brushed, like, all of the time. Oh. It's like, shh. Fine. So, the way that Ashlyn is talking about Val sounds a lot like the way I used to talk about Madison, is all I'm saying. <clears throat> but Ashlyn said she hates people telling her about herself. So, I guess I'm just gonna have to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Which is famously hard for me. <clears throat> okay. Is it just me, or should Carlos have given fake crying to an actor? Oh, it's way easier than you think. Do you have a pet who died? Just my dog, Joe Jack. But he's still alive. Oh, you didn't hear? Um, we got a call in the office. There's been a terrible accident. OK, can I be the slapper? We're working out the kinks. There's no time. Just work on your backstories. <sighs> Try this. The two of you are in love with the same boy. Oh, God, no. Oh, gosh, yes. OK, it totally makes sense that I, the girl with the dark past, would be in love with the bad boy. <laughs> Jet, come here. I, I tried my best, Ugh. OK? You guys, my head isn't a funnel. I know Val is hard to handle sometimes. I used to crush on her, too, but yelling at people is no way to express your romantic feelings. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Wow, that's... OK. I have a boyfriend. Can you just once stop? Not sure uh, everyone loves me, but thank you. Watch me break and pop. I think the night's going to end with a bang. <laughs> hey, one way or another, it always does. <laughs> Everyone, everyone, this is Madison of Mad and Mad Fame. What's up, Wildcats? Hey. We have heard so much about you. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought, uh, I thought this was gonna be empty. Oh, no, we can leave. No, no, it's okay. Um, actually, I just said goodbye to somebody that I wasn't even expecting to say hello to tonight, so I'm a little upside down. <laughs> She was glowing. So are you. Mm -hmm. Don't mind us. Just talking about deep fears over here. Oh, is this about the climbing wall? Uh, and all it stands for? Yes. I guess tonight did end with a bang. Oh, this sounds, but I can hear a voice say through the changes. Gadget, you know you're one of us now, right? <laughs> Did you have fun with Madison? Yeah, that, that's a little complicated. <laughs> like, oh, I thought it was over. But then she said, maybe she still likes me and to please call when I get home. <laughs> I guess that means none of the new girls caught your eye this summer. What's up, hippies? <laughs> Sorry, what? I am Ashlyn's boyfriend. <laughs> My friend first. Mm. I feel like I miss so much. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Hey, your boyfriend is adorable. <laughs> well, so is Madison. Yeah, yeah, gotta, <laughs> gotta figure that one out. Um, have you uh, told him? Anything about the summer? It all comes down to tonight. I may throw a few things at you guys, last minute. It's, it's fun stuff to shake up the sh It's fun stuff to amp up the live stream, right? You know how when two people have a break from one another, sometimes things change? I've heard of that phenomenon. 
th these last couple of weeks working at the pizza shop, really having time with my own thoughts. I... Whatever you're thinking, I'm probably thinking it too. People this summer. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Some more memorable than others. <laughs> I've never been to summer camp and I'm open to anything happening. <laughs> yeah, that, no, I'm you know, that's gonna be a thing. <laughs> oh god, we should not have signed that release. <sighs> okay, so I think the move here is to wait till she texts you again, then leave her on red for like an hour, then do the thumbs up reaction and turn your phone off. It'll drive her crazy, but in a good way. <laughs> Are you, like, recording a podcast? No, I'm sending Maddox voice memos. Kind of our thing. What? Oh, no, I'm... Well, I think I'm just trying to figure out why you're ghostwriting texts for Maddox to send to her ex-girlfriend. Actually, they're not exes anymore. She's going through something, and I just want to be there for her. Well, I just hope she's there for you, too. She sent me like a million texts about Big Red. Okay, anything helpful? She said to support him in his semester abroad, give him space, but also be there for him. So you're both giving each other relationship advice? Yes. That is a good way of describing what we are doing. We're juniors now, Ash. Eyes on the prize. Wait, what? What's the prize to find the prize? I think that's for you to figure out. Apparently there's some big announcement today. Unless we're all- We're still here at East. Oh my god, wait, Dad, look up. Group hang at Courtney's house. Oh, why do you have 35 unread text messages from Maddox? <laughs> 36? 37? <laughs> I cannot believe that they fired Emmy. I'm gonna turn this way. Oh. Ash, please, uh, please don't tell anyone. I won't. The it's Maddox, and we're texting about something else. Everything else, actually. Okay, everyone's good with my plan. Okay, you and Maddox have literally been texting nonstop. Is there anything you want to tell me? Actually, this text is from Big Red, my boyfriend, oh. if you recall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Maddie, hi. I'm sorry for the delay. We just found out our parts for the musical. So I got Kelsey, which honestly, duh. Queer coded icon. Uh, excuse me, Ash. There's more. Martha. <laughs> the point is, my camp friends are my school friends now, and I don't dislike that. <laughs> Gadget? Hey. Oh, if, if that's what you're called here. <laughs> I, I can't believe you didn't tell me you were coming to East High. Right. Surprise! <laughs> it's like, where's the honeycomb bunk, right? <laughs> yeah, or, or the campfire. <laughs> so I can jump into it. <laughs> Fire, take me away. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> Featured background, we're walking. <laughs> okay, Maddox and I have been texting for weeks, so why is this so awkward? Hi. I literally don't know how to walk anymore. Same arm, same leg down the hallway. Sure, Ash. Could all this weirdness be because the documentary made it look like we're in love with each other? Which, no, because why would somebody as chill as Maddox be in love with somebody as not chill as me? Right? We're walking, background, we're walking. Gothra? And whatever you do, remember there is no speaking at all. Aye, aye, Captain Gadget. Oh, girl. OK, no, starting now. I got it. All right, hello, hello. If you read it. You guys, I'm kind of stuck hey, on this. Hey, uh, you were a boss today. OK, you really think so? <laughs> um, I really know so. <laughs> well, I memorized it on the plane, so. Okay, <laughs> time to dip and find someone who's paid to listen to me. <laughs> you know, goth looks really good on me. 
Thank you. I'm wearing like 12 necklaces. Oh, yeah? It was time for stars to shine, and shine they did. But sometimes even the brightest stars can be hard to see. <laughs> okay, I'm really pushing the star theme, but hear me out. A new constellation can take time to form. This. But when the skies get cloudy, we all find our North Stars. Make so many feelings inside. New ones that don't want to hide. I gotta ah. listen to Happy Halloween! What's up? Was I yelling? <laughs> oh, hey, hot to Eleanor Roosevelt. You got that? Of course you got that. I'm chill. What do we do? Let's call an ambulance! Oh, you mouth to mouth! As a friend! Boom. Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I felt like I owed you all a good scare after the legend of Susan Fine kind of crashed and burned. <laughs> hey, Ash, you okay? Mm-hmm. Are you crying? Why would I be crying? It was humorous. These are laugh tears. Shall we begin? Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> mad and mad are bad. And although Gina and I have. Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, some night, huh? Yeah, you really got me good. Oh, yeah, I guess I should thank you for saving my life, theoretically. What are friends for? <laughs> you, uh,. You working on something new? Yeah, Emmy wants me to try writing a new duet for Chad and Taylor in High School Musical 3. She's pretty bummed she got cut from Quint's movie. And between us, I think she has a little crush on your brother. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, she's got good taste. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know how big a first crush can be, right? Like, like it can change your whole world, people have said. <laughs> but it's all about timing and waiting for the right moment, so I'm just trying to sum all that up in the song. Well, that sounds super easy. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a little lost on the counter melody. Can I hear it? Do you... Promise not to judge me. Oh, Ash. You know, I could never promise that. Judging people is my specialty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. <gasps> sorry, sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, I should um, go check on Jet. Yeah. Ash, you look amazing. <laughs> you look cosmopolitan? Oh. That's a compliment. Thanks. There were fireworks, literally. And I think I felt them again with that girl Maddox when we almost kissed. You almost kissed Maddox? <laughs> oh my God. I, I totally knew she was in love with you from that Frozen documentary. <laughs> well, the trailer, I didn't have the heart to actually watch the show. Yeah, it's amazing and terrifying and so many things. But you have to call Maddox. Oh. <laughs> but what if I got it wrong? Like, I know I like her, but what if she thinks we're just friends? <laughs> what if you got it right? Ashlyn, bringing you flowers on opening night last year was the greatest decision I ever made. Maybe now it's your turn to jump. BRB, just gonna go make a super quick, possibly life-changing phone call. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, hi. Um, I'm sorry, I was looking for Maddox. Who is this? Oh. Hi, Madison. I thought you broke up with him because you were so traumatized. No, we actually had the most chill breakup of all time. We went to Walgreens after. We both needed lactate pills. Wait, so oh. you're single again? And Emmy, you're single too. And Jet, Miss Jen, just naming all the single people. I got your text. Yeah. Yeah, tell us a story, Ash. Wow, I haven't thought about this in so long. I know this isn't perfect, but I know you make me better. So let's live inside this moment and forget about forever. And no matter what you say or do, I'll be running back. Look, I've known Gadget a long time, and I'm gonna take a flyer and say she's into you. Her girlfriend answered her phone. We thought you'd be dead again. <laughs> <laughs> Change of plans. This is none of my business, but you and Gadget, I like you too. Who are you texting with all night? Oh, you know. Again with Madison? <laughs> I thought, she, what about? Look, I haven't heard anything from Ash since that night. We almost kissed, and I'm pretty sure I freaked her out. Ashlyn, I think I might like you. No, no. Um, Ashton, I like you. Yes, yes. That's right. We may have had a few bumps in the road, but Biggie and I have never been happier. <laughs> <laughs> this just came for you from someone named Madison. Gosh. What happened? Maddox, are you okay? You need mouth to mouth. She's like an emotional terrorist. I mean, what am I supposed to do with these balloons? Read the card. Why? So Madison can ruin the rest of my night, which is already at an all time worst night category after learning that Ashlyn is back together with Big Red. <sighs> Read the card. Out loud. Maddie, these balloons aren't for you. Give them to Ashlyn tonight. The way you talk about her is the way people talk about someone when they're falling for them. Love always, Madison. What's that? Miss Jen? You need me on stage? I'm not back together with Big Red. But and I have feelings for you. I have every feeling for you. And my, my biggest fear is that if we tried this, if we actually went for it, that well, I might lose the most incredible friendship I have. What is this? Just open it. God, I hope you don't hate this. <laughs> Ash Hart's gadget? It was carved into a tree behind the bunks at Shallow Lake. Wait. So you've had these feelings since back at camp? No, EJ did this. He predicted we'd end up together. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I don't deserve to be as happy as you make me. 
You are the scariest, most beautiful person I've ever met. That is exactly how I feel about you. Should we just like, I don't know, like stay friends? Yeah, yeah. No, it's um, <clears throat> it's probably safer that way. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. My kiss with Seth has gone viral on TikTok and I gotta download with somebody. Oh my God. Okay, I'm leaving. Wait, I'm so happy for you too. This is so endgame. Lightly slap me right now. I want to make sure I'm awake and not actually dreaming. Um, we need you in the auditorium. Wait, Maddox, are you? I am. I'm supposed to do the movie too, and I didn't. Um... God, I'm so sorry. I didn't know how to tell you after. God, you know. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm such a mess. Um, I said too much. Does anyone else want to say something? You and Mac live like I have never even. Absolutely. As long as I also get to stage manage Miss Jen's next show. <laughs> I built this heart. It's beating loud. All that no 